A transformation is happening at one of Tacoma's key community resources, Point Defiance Park. These changes are part of Metro Parks Tacoma's Waterfront Phase 1 project that's imagining an even more accessible, active, and flourishing waterfront. Point Defiance Park is looking to utilize some space that was underutilized before. And we are completing the trail from Tacoma to Defiance. And so we're the Tacoma Dome. There's a waterfront trail currently that's going along uh, Ruston Way and, and until you got to about Point Ruston. And then we put in an interim trail, but we never finished the connection to Point Defiance Park. And so now we are finishing that connection. We're redoing the trail so it's an accessible grade. And then we are building a bridge into Point Defiance Park. The bridge will also go over a new parking lot. And then once that boat trailer parking lot is cut out, we needed some place to put the dirt. And so a lot of that dirt is going out onto the peninsula to, to cap the peninsula. And then on top of that cap, we'll build a park. So the peninsula will become a park. As part of phase one, Metro Parks and the city join together to host an innovative water treatment system designed to improve Puget Sound water quality. In about 2011, Metro Parks Tacoma approached us about putting a stormwater facility here at the park as they re redeveloped their waterfront phase one project. So we looked at the opportunity and applied for a grant from the Department of Ecology. Located at the park entrance, the placement of this facility is laying the groundwork for the next stages of the waterfront project. When we have our new facilities built on this side, we wanted people to be able to see this in action. It fits well into the hillside and it's going to work really well with our new proposed facilities. A common misconception is that stormwater gets treated at the central wastewater treatment plant, when the reality is that Tacoma has a separated system where stormwater goes directly untreated into local waterways. But this facility is working to make that water cleaner before it enters the Puget Sound. The water comes into these large pools and then flows into our, our treatment cells and then is filtered before it comes into this swale here. Stormwater runoff is routed from streets and properties from as far south as North 30th Street. The goal of this 5,500 square foot facility is to capture and filter the worst stormwater pollutants. The plants and the mulch and the treatment cell are like our first line of defense. They capture the larger sediment and the pollutants and then it's filtered through a proprietary media and then it comes out through a pipe and into the swale. Pollutants that get filtered can include fluids from vehicles, lawn care chemicals, pet waste, and soaps from car washing. Anything that ends up on the ground can end up contaminating stormwater. All of our roads, our driveways, and houses, when it rains, the pollution that's on them is collected and brought into our storm sewer system. This facility treats 756 acres, making it one of the larger facilities in the area but it's not the only one working to make local waterways cleaner. So the city of Tacoma built one in partnership with the University of Washington Tacoma on the Prairie Line Trail that treats about 42 acres. And Kitsap County, they just recently built one at Manchester Park and that treats about 100 acres. The design was developed to be open channel flow for easier study of the filtration process. The layout tells a story where you can visually see polluted water coming into the large pools, get treated, and then come out into the natural swale, creating a learning opportunity for residents and students. The Science and Math Institute is in, integrated into Point Defiance Park, and so they as well have access to water sampling and other things to see the science behind what exactly this thing's doing. Waterfront Phase 1 will be finished in the fall of 2017, but residents don't have to wait until then to see the stormwater treatment facility in action. 